the European Commission claims that its plan for using renewables and green hydrogen will ensure that the EU will achieve independence from Russian fossil fuels well before 2030. The Commission unveiled new proposals for quadrupling the current renewable H2 targets for 2030. The proposals show the Commission's plans for accelerating renewables and quadrupling the current green hydrogen supply targets for 2030. This was a component of a rapidly assembled strategy to ensure the shortest possible dependence on Russian gas. In fact, its reliance would already be slashed by two-thirds by the close of 2022. According to the Commission, the Repower EU plan measures could remove the EU's dependence on Russian energy well before 2030, as it acts in response to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The plan includes a slew of short-term proposals, attempting to obtain natural gas from alternative sources to Russia, as well as boosting gas storage. That said, it also has a substantial focus on using renewable electricity production and boosting the EU economy's renewable. The Commission said it will be challenging, but possible to accelerate green hydrogen and renewables adoption. It is time we tackle our vulnerabilities and rapidly become more independent in our energy choices, said Franz Timmermans, Commission European Green Deal Vice President. Let's dash into renewable energy at lightning speed. Renewables are a cheap, clean, and potentially endless source of energy, and instead of funding the fossil fuel industry elsewhere, they create jobs here. He pointed out that it's hard, bloody hard, but it's possible. Repower EU suggests ramping up renewables, well beyond those that had already been laid out in its Fit for 55 strategy for decarbonization. That was already pushing for 900 gigawatts of wind and solar energy capacity, by 2030. The Commission is seeking wind and photovoltaic solar energy front-loading, to accelerate build-out and an additional 80 gigawatts of capacity, to make added green hydrogen viable. At the heart of its renewable strategy, will be efforts to accelerate new project permits while minimizing red tape-based barriers. Wind and solar energy sectors in Europe have been pursuing those changes for years. Thank you for picking hydrogenfuelnews.com. Don't miss your free access to our exclusive ebook. Just sign up today. Follow this story and more on HFN.